question. Yeah. All right, y'all, question. Here we are. Y'all wanna, y'all wanna tune in too? They're gonna join in. Check it out. I got my fish here. Got all the fish here. Here we go. Why in Florida do you have to put on more sunscreen? Like if I was in New York right now, I probably wouldn't be lathering down that much for some reason. But it's the same amount of sunlight, am I right or wrong? They're closer to the equator, I think. More Why are you bursting my bubble? It's more direct. <laughs> Why are you bursting my bubble? That's my job. I was going to tell someone to comment below, but then you stole all that, the, the, I'm sorry, the that's glory. My, that's my job. I, I appreciate I'm the, you, Steve. So you the, paid attention in sociology class. Sociology? <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna stop. I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you paid attention in, in geology class. Getting warmer. Yeah. Yeah. What class would that be in? Mm. Science. Science class. Yeah, I think it's it's science. Geology. <laughs> <laughs> just so y'all know, we had a guy comment the other day. I gotta shout you out. We gotta go, we got just to let this guy know, he commented on there, he said something like, uh, I'm done now, Dustin couldn't spell his name, or something like that. Shout out yeah. to you, I appreciate you. Yeah. I do have a bachelor's from the University of Alabama. I'm actually a smart guy, I'm just actually just try to have a good time. And every now and then just being just loose and just kind of free free thinking, you know, it's, it's kind of fun. Yeah. Sorry I'm not so correct all the time, y'all. Shout out to you, guy. I wish I could meet you over there somewhere. Uh, this is a... How are you? I'm ready for me and you fish again. Yes. Weren't we on Cayuga when we won? Yes. I watched the video the other day again just to relive the happiness of life and biting fish. They, they were biting down there, up there. Um, heavy hitters, day one, here we are. Breaking the axle out on this. <laughs> uh, yeah, here we are, Big Toho Marina. Pulling the rods out this morning. I don't know whether I'm getting froggy or not. I ain't got a clue. I do know if you look around, there ain't a cloud in the sky, hardly. It might as well be August the 10th. Seriously, it's gonna be, what's the high today, 92? Yeah, 94. How are you? What's up, baby? Everything good? Doing good. 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 You the ice man? I'm not. Well, he the ice that man. That man keep his ice cold. I'm the assistant ice man. Yes, sir. There you go. Assistant ice man. So when he miss, I, I ain't gonna smash today. You got the new balances on? No. What man? We talked about that earlier. I got these old clouds. I said, man, he's dropping the ball. Brett. <laughs> I wear size 12. <laughs> yep, so uh, yeah, heavy hitters. We're excited about it. This tournament has zero points. That's what's cool about it. <laughs> because if we don't catch them, who cares? Um, but I can tell you this, I brought these glide baits. I got a damn, I got all kinds of glide baits. I got freaking, just in case, if it hits the fan and I'm not catching nothing, I'm going gliding. <laughs> I'm at least try to catch a 10 pounder. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. Y'all stay tuned, it's day one. Hit me.
don't want everybody's out here. Five, four, three, two, one. Line ten, game period one. We done showed up. <clears throat> After all them been catching them for two hours. You hear me? We done showed up after they done caught them for two hours. We're gonna go here in this canal real quick. See if we can drag and catch one. If not, we can go to hatch. We're about to run down the hatch here in a minute. And just go in there and stay for a little bit. I know I can get some bites in there. Like I know we gonna get some bites in there. Big. Pounder, I think. That ain't sure fighting like a five pounder. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's five. What up, Joe? What up, Joe? Let's freaking go. <laughs> ah, we didn't show up and call us a big one. You want that worm, son. <laughs> Close to five, yeah. Four pounds, 15 ounces. <laughs> ah, five pounder, baby. Let's freaking go. Five pounder, son. Five pounder, five pounder start, baby. We're there in Florida. Got us a five. Thank you, baby girl. Thank you, Lord. 415. That's four pounds, 15 ounces less than I got a kid. Buddy, I'll let her eat it too. It was like doop doop. There's another one. God dang it. How? That was a freaking big one again. God dang it. Good Lord, man. There's another freaking big and five pounder. Another one. God. Kidding me.
I'll tell you something else, them fish don't care about that. I've caught them in them damn boat wakes like that. Will they run through there? It don't matter. I caught a five and a three and a half right here in practice. And there was a freaking bunch of them. I was like, wow. Brad Haley just got another two pound, eight ounce. It brings us total eight pounds, 15 ounces. He's in first. David Dudley's got two for five pounds, 12 ounces. You're in third right now, Dustin, four pounds, 15 ounces. Dakota E. Bear, Al Jones Jr., Brian Thrift still only have one fish. There's one. Oh my God. Dude, why ain't they eating a damn bait, my guy? Damn, do I have a hook on here? What the crap? When in doubt, drag it out. When in doubt, drag it out, baby. Just drag it, son. Just go to Florida and just drag around. You'll get a bite or two, you drag around. You gotta fish slow in Florida. That's my problem. That's always been my problem in Florida. I fish too damn fast. All right, we're on the wind starting to blow a little bit. Damn, I kind of want to go to that canal up there. I kind of want to go to that, that log. Because I think I might pop a couple up there too. Just play small ball with them, you know. And then later in the day, go down and fish some grass stuff. I'm going to drag through there where I had them big bites for a minute and then we're going to go. Ain't nobody still caught anything? Nope. All right, well, it sucks right now. Apparently, they're not biting that good. So, I'm debating on running up here to this lock real quick. Because I caught a good one up there. Let's run up here just real quick. Fish below this log, and then we'll come back down and go to hatch the home. Is that all right with you? I mean, I won't do that unless you want me to. <laughs> oh, that's funny. right through here just for a few minutes try to get lucky on a couple i caught a four and a half pounder in here and there's quite a few fish up through there but i don't know you want to get right here you're more than welcome well i can't cast in there so you're good <laughs> They make it to where we can't cast in there where it's good at. I caught a couple in here, a couple four pounders in here, but they had a little more current going, I feel like. Yeah. All right, before these boats get to running out of here, let's just go on down because this is trash and I ain't trying to run behind a bunch of guys. All right, 
let's fish slow in here and uh, see if we can catch a few good ones He wouldn't went to anyway, but that's a good sign. Dude, there's a bunch of them in this stuff. Like, there's a bunch of them in here. I've had a lot of bites in here. It's just, it's just trying to catch a, you know, a good fish. Five, four, three, two. One lines out in the period. All right, y'all. That's the end of the first period right here at the glorious Kissimmee chain. Ooh, it's grindy out here, boys. It's grindy, but we're getting a little bit of clouds. They're about to start biting a little bit. There was actually a couple fish catches right then, later, but uh, we just gotta stay focused. We gotta stay focused very hard to do but we're here caught big dude that other one I hooked just big it's another five pounder 100 percent they're starting to bite up through here I caught a two pounder out there had another scorpion bite right here I'd like to just catch like three two pounders have me about 11 or 12 pounds and be right there in the lead or are we close to it i ain't trying to catch no damn nine pounder that's big fish for the damn group a you might well just can it so for the guys that are out there throwing glide baits and all that they're screwed and put your name in a hat i mean salzman he got 10k right then good job catch a few two pounders i know from that point around that corner right there and all these pencils and all this reed stuff, there's a bunch of fish. And there's some two and a half, three pounders too, probably. Five, four, three, two, one. Lines in, beginning of period two. Lines out will be 115. <laughs> I ain't biting yet in here. If they were, we'd have had a couple bites. Sucks. All right, we're gonna uh, leave from right here real quick. We'll come back. Maybe in a little bit, I doubt it. I don't, I just ain't, I ain't feeling it. Anybody else caught anything? Nope. Ryan Sullivan's last fish was the last <laughs> Oh, God, boy. Big one. God dang it. Right whenever I was reeling it. I was literally about to reel it in and he bit it. Huh. Oh, he's on it. He boiled it. I don't know how big he was. Looked like a decent one. Damn, that bass done got bit in half. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Jacob still ain't caught one. Wow. Imagine 
coming out here and practicing and thinking you don't figured it something out <laughs> you roll up to this you know what I'm saying Yesterday it was a little cloudier. I think we're gonna have to lock and go back up. Go hit all that crap that I got up there. Which ain't much, but it might be enough to at least keep us in it. All right. All right, Matt Becker's got a three pound, four ounce bass. Moving him to eighth place is dropping you to ninth. Good, that's where we belong. Out of the cut. Great period. That was such a good one. Such a good period. I'm glad we locked up for this. Damn, dude, for the most part, it sucks. Like, horrid. Like, it's bad, dude. Like, bad. <laughs> What's Adrian and Bina got? Sorry. Three. <laughs> Come right here. You know, during practice, and there's like freaking 10 or 15 of them down here on this little shell bed. And there's not any more left at all and I'm like huh odd but that is typical Florida I thought I could win the tournament doing this kind of stuff now I can't get a single bite so how dumb am I pretty dumb apparently pretty dumb But it's still a good day. Huh? Any day you hear is a good day. Way better than the alternative. Man, I'm telling you, I know these fish right here. I know it. Pretty low. We can get, once we get over this, we'll be all right. See, it's in, it's three foot now. Desperate call. Desperate, desperate measures is where we're at. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a little bit deeper in here now. Main reason I want to come in here is because these shady cypress trees and stuff. You never know, you may catch 
two, three pounders. And uh, we need them pretty bad right now. <laughs> oh, I cannot even believe I'm in here. Jacob still ain't caught nothing. Yeah, Jacob Willie just got a two pound four ounce. Actually. All right, Brandon Colker got another two pound two ounce. What place we in now? 13th. You're in 14th right now. Good, we're almost dead last. You need three pounds, 15 ounces. Me and Edwin are in fort, uh, last. Yep, Edwin's 15. He's got one fish, two pounds, nine ounces. Who's that? Marine police? I ain't got a damn clue. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> He's all he ain't getting off that. Are you kidding me? They're doing. I mean they're doing in dead water. I hate this place. Y'all mind if I run out? No, hit it. Yeah, we're gonna go by you. When we go by you, you might get your motor started and the wake might pick you up enough you might be able to take off. He said, go for it. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go to the right side of them. Yeah, if I go, you, you have to go to the right side of, of them. them. Yeah, of them. Yeah. We're just going to send it. <laughs> We're just going to send it. <laughs> Only thing I know to do is just go run around and throw top water and just fish. Try to catch a big one on top water the last hour. Maybe get lucky and catch one big one. That's all I know to do. brother grass thought I had one I was about to say oh shit, I got lucky These fish right here would just show up. They would show up, I'd catch like three or four big ones, like in a hurry. Like this was a really, really good spot in practice. Like they were there. 
I don't know what happened to them. For the life of me, I don't know what happened. About typical, they always leave. How far are we out of the cut? Five pounds, six pounds, seven pounds, eight, 20? Pretty much get this old way and go to the house. So five pounds, six ounces. That ain't I ain't gonna catch that right here. I might as well just plan on catching that tomorrow, but whatever. I don't know where else to go on this place. Finally, we caught one. Holy crap. Dang, son, we caught one. <laughs> Joe, we caught a bass. Oh my God. <laughs> Three pounds, 10 ounces. Three, 10, thank God, we finally caught another one. <laughs> oh, we got lucky as it's all get out, but we'll take it. Change worm colors, and that's all it took, son. We're on them. Something about a stinking worm in Florida. Who's got the twelfth place? Does in your two pounds zero ounces out of the cut? One score. <sighs> Had her hooked up this morning. You know what I'm saying, Joe? I had her hooked up this morning. Dang big. Being like sixth place, like fifth place for that big one. All right, let's go. What a day. Thank God, we're one day closer. Man, that was a great day. Man, what a day. What a lake. All right, y'all. It's about to come a daggum boomer. You wanna look at score tracker? We're in 12th out of 15, we had a great day. But we're two pounds, exactly one scoreable out of the cut. So, which, it, you know, five people are. So we're right there where we need to be at, 10, 10, 18. I mean, I lost one really good fish. I didn't feel him real long, but I knew it was a big in the way you bit. It was like doop, doop, and just heavy. I was like, oh crap, waited on him, boom. Lost him. But we're, uh, we're all right. We just needed one big bite. If I'd have caught that five pounder, we'd have been sitting in sixth place and you're king ding -a -ling. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now we're gonna get rained on. Thank you, Lord. You gonna take this? Are you trying to hand this to me? Yeah, I'm gonna hand that to you and uh, we're gonna hide that because it's gonna get wet. Okay. And we're gonna go get stormed on and go to this weigh-in. Yeah, I'm gonna hide this camera. Okay. Yeah, sounds, sounds good. Oh, oh, he wants a big introduction. That's why we're waiting. No, not at all. Let's bring him up. He is the reigning Red Crest champion. He won two events here in 2024. Let's give it up. Eight pounds, nine ounces, 415 is big one with just two, Dustin Connell. Hey, you forgot one thing about Red Crest. What's that? Two times. Oh, hold on a second. He was once the reigning Red Crest champion, and then again, he is now the reigning champion. DC Dustin Connell. Yeah, I do. I do. I do apologize. Sat on uh, two pounds and some change for quite a while. Then you got a, a bigger bite, and DC has known to sort of switch things around. We've seen you in championship days, sort of run away with it. 
I know you probably weren't planning on being that far down, but what do you do to change your uh, fate? A quick funny story, I just told Brett this. Uh, the first tournament that the Bass Pro Tour had was here, okay? The first day of that event, it was trash. I had like six or seven pounds. So then after that, the next day I switched it up, came, made a comeback, won the knockout round, went on the championship round, didn't win the tournament, but it can change in an instant here. You know, I had a really good practice. It's just a lot of fish kind of moved around. The water kind of dropped. But uh, I did lose one big fish today, and I don't know how big it was. It felt really, really big. But um, we're still in this thing. We're two pounds out. The goal is to advance on and have a chance at that $100,000 fish. You know, a lot of times you guys put a benchmark where you think the cut line's going to be. Obviously, with only 15 guys fishing, it's sort of harder to, to fine line that. Where did you pretend it was going to be before even going out? I thought that, you know, 15 pounds a day would do really good, and I thought I could catch that. And I caught a lot of fish today. I did. I, a lot of 110s, 112s, you know, and, and but they're out there, and I'm in a really good area. There was a lot of pressure in a couple areas today. So I'm going to expand around, and then if I ain't catching them, I'm going to go down to Kissimmee and go drop me a, 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 a cleanup crawl all day. That's what I'm going to do and try to catch some big ones. $10,000 could be yours. Congratulations, DC, and best of luck come Monday. Coming up now, he is a former Red Crest champion sitting in fifth place, 21 pounds, 10 ounces, 615. I may run through there. Go start out there, let it settle down, and then come out because all the boats will be yeah, freaking buzzing button. around. Go out there, try to catch one of the big ones. Yep. Go in there, hit that canal. If I don't catch crap, go in to Kissimmee, go in to flip. Screw it. Yep. I ain't gonna get a lot of bites doing anything. Yep. You're not gonna get a lot of bites doing anything. And I had some big bites on Kissimmee. I caught a six, a five, I hooked another big one. Yep. It, it's just, I was trying to make the past work and it didn't work. All right, y'all. We're tired of hanging around the house. What video is this? Is this a separate video? No, this is still day one. All right, do you want to make one. it? Do you want to make it a separate video? No, this is our day off, and we're not taking the day off. We're going to get kicked out of the pond. Who wants to join us? Let's freaking go. We need to take Jacob's truck, though. We don't need to. Let's not have your truck be evidence if we get in trouble. Well, we can't even get out anyway. We can't even get out. We get arrested. <laughs> I guarantee it, there's going to be no fishing posted signs all over that son of a gun. You think so? 100%. I don't know. So what are you choosing? What are you taking? One I'm rod? taking one rod with a little worm on there. Let's freaking get it, boys. Pop, 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 pop. You taking Poppy? Poppy McPoppy? All, all, all bass eat frogs, right? Frogs. Hey, worst, worst case scenario, I get gator. No, don't do that, bro. Don't, <laughs> listen, don't do that. Do not do that. Two speed worms? Do not do that, bro. Two? Dude, Jake and I almost threw on gloves last week. <laughs> Two worms? That's a big jig. Two worms? <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm telling you. Okay, I'm not gonna take it. <laughs> Oh, I'm not oh. taking two do you have speed worms? No. Yes, you do. I don't, bro. Give me a damn speed worm. You got one on. on your rod. All right, y'all. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to this pond. It has a no trespassing sign on it. I'm going to see if there's somebody outside. I'm going to ask permission. And if well, they say no, we're still going fishing. But are we trespassing if, we, if we've if we got like a, a place to stay here? Exactly. We're not. We, we're, we thought this were neighborhood ponds. We're, we're in the community. We're yeah. part of the community. We're part of the community. <laughs> oh, this lake's got them, bro. I don't really know. I don't really know. DC starting to get sketched out. I don't know. I don't see no signs. I don't see no signs. I've never seen a sign. <laughs> crap in here. It's clear. What? I don't see nothing like I don't see no little bass. I don't see nothing swimming around. It's too, it's too shallow. There ain't there ain't nothing in here. Low too. Everything's low. Like, I'm not gonna get a ticket if it sucks. All right y'all that's gonna wrap up day one video. We're talking about a toughie today. I had I had couple opportunities i lost that one good fish um 
I don't know. It was just kind of one of them days. I couldn't really get into a groove. There was freaking like 60 boats in that one area. It was unbelievable. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try to figure this deal out. I think next video, like we're two pounds out of making the cut. Like we're right there where we need to be at. Like we can make this work. So, and also we have another ten thousand dollars up for grabs in the next video. Okay, so day two is tomorrow for me. That's the next video. 10k for big bass that's the goal who's going to catch it i am okay you heard it first jacob's <laughs> going to catch it nobody else adrian what are you going to catch hopefully enough bass to uh not go home but guess what if i go home get to see the family uh, it's been a minute it's, it's kind of a win-win there yeah yeah I mean, if you you'd stay it's a win if you don't you, you still win but Bert actually called me out because i already packed my truck yeah Dang, boy, you you're a quitter. Hey, you're a no quitter. quitter bro. Hey, I'm a realist. You're a I'm quitter. I'm on the outside right now, so you know the odds of me getting in. Skinny. No, you got to, like, there's, I feel like there's a, you got just as good a chance as the other, you have two to three places to get in right there. You got to beat three people. You got to beat three people. What do you got to beat? Yeah, no, you got to beat more people than that. Because you got to beat all the people behind you. Well, I'm hoping that none of them guys behind us catch anything. I'm just betting that hopefully they don't. You're betting against them. Well, maybe they do. I don't know. I ain't really worried about them. I got to worry about us. We need a 20-pound day. My goal is to get a little redemption on the Kissimmee chain. So that's the next video, Redemption. It's coming at you next. Y'all like, subscribe. Peace.